Rico Talin, and uh, for the last 25 years, I've been basically doing one thing, is try to convince companies to adopt different technologies. 25 years is a long time, and uh, so the technologies actually changed over the time, but there was always like my focus in my business life is always try to improve companies and try to make them adopt something that will change fundamentally the way of doing business. So basically today I'm going to talk to you about two things. Try to explain a CEO, CFO, CIO, which is like the top management of a company, okay, what's blockchain. And the second thing I'm trying to do is also explain these same uh, kind of people what they can do with the, with the blockchain within the company. Now, why this actually matters, why this is important. Okay, let's think about uh, our ecosystem, the blockchain ecosystem on the height of our, uh, in the Ethereum world, it was like, for example, CryptoKitties. And CryptoKitties in the top 10, it was like they had like, in the high days, they had like 14,000 daily users. Okay, so this is like, we're talking about the, the, the project that made so much impact on Ethereum, they actually blocked Ethereum for a little while, for a week or so, and there was like 4,000 uh, daily users. Okay, um, companies usually have like millions of daily users. So it's essential for us to think about that companies can be like not only one customer, but they represent millions of millions of users. So when we focus about blockchain adoption, we of course we can all talk with each other and try to, 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 to do a project that goes directly to user, but if you think about like going to the intermediate, so you go to companies, then you can like really be rich, uh, the, 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 the adoption of blockchain adoption in a very, very fast way and more easier way, okay? Uh, but there's a, this, there's a, now sounds good, because you know, I talk with a company, this company has two million uh, users, so let's, boom, we have like two more million users, uh, to the Ethereum uh, ecosystem or any other blockchain ecosystem. Yeah, now, that's, the, that's not easy, <laughs> okay? That's not easy because I've been doing this for the 25 years and honestly, this is like talking with the, the top management, it's very, very difficult, okay? So now I, I, I wrote a book, <laughs> I wrote a book because I, I couldn't, I tried to really repeat, repeat many times the same thing, so at the end I said, okay, I'll write the book so it's gonna be easier. And, uh, okay, so let's see, like, this presentation I want to, like, the way I usually present to CEO. And the main thing to think about, like, the main consideration you have to take in account when you talk to CEO, it's just, they're like five years old, baby. <laughs> exactly. Because they have super short attention span, they absolutely do not understand anything you tell them, and even if they pretend to listen, they do not listen. So you really need to use the same tricks with a five years old. And being a father, okay, I exactly use the same techniques and then starting things going on. So um, first of all, you have to make them excited because if you like start like telling the story and you just like, it's like a story about business, say, ah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 sure, and they're like thinking about other things. Okay, so you have to put this into context. So you have to make it really excited for them. And what is the best thing? It's called like exclusion, <laughs> okay? So I know it sounds bad, but it's actually the best way uh, to make them interested. So say like, okay, now, why we're talking about the blockchain? Why? Because the blockchain is something that happens once every 10 years. Now, just like that, you get the man attention. You say, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, in the 70s we have the mainframes that completely changed the way accounting was done. And then we had the PC that completely disrupted the way the mainframe was used. And then we have the internet that completely disrupted the way that PC. And then the social, and then we have the mobile. And you know what? What's gonna be next for the next 10 years? It's gonna be the blockchain. So, you know what? You absolutely need to take account of the blockchain. Why not? Because, you know, when this new technology comes along, you can be either the stream runner, or you're like, gonna be part of the road, because other companies will gonna like, roll you down, and make you like, really flat. So, 
Now we got the, the CEO attention because they say, wow, I don't want to be like part of the road. I want to be the steamroller. I want to be the one in charge. We're talking about people that are like leaders. So, okay, I want to do this. Now, once we set the, the correct, like, the just position of what the blockchain is, then we can talk what is a blockchain. So that's uh, probably a lot of people know what is a blockchain, but uh, here that's not like uh, for a CEO it's not easy. So we're talking about the centralized trust and we use a lot of images because the only way to explain to them is not like the words that don't make any sense to CEO. So <laughs> the thing is you have to show them absolutely a lot of pictures. So we talk about the centralization, immutable and distributed. We talk about, we give them like a little bit of background, so there's like this guy named Satoshi and they Bitcoin, then there's like another guy uh, called Vitalik, it is like this 2.0 okay. kind of like thing, okay, and then like the blockchain 3.0 is going to be all about interoperability, there's going to be Cosmos, Polkadot, and of course Ethereum next upgrade, and we don't use the... Uh, to, you see here, it's blockchain 3.0, we don't put uh, Ethereum 2.0 because it's gonna confuse them. So next generation, things like that. And we talk about like uh, environment friendly, things like that. So things that you don't really go, never go technical, never use a technical uh, terms. If you ever use a technical term, always put a picture. Because <laughs> never, it's never gonna be <laughs> Never. Okay, so we talk about reaching consensus, we tell like it's public, never use permissionless and permission it, that's gonna like scare people because like permission, so you say public, you say private, which is basically not a blockchain, uh, always like trying to, to reinforce the fact, okay? And then like a hybrid, you know, you can have like a consortium, things like that. And then like we go to what can a company do blockchain? Now like they really get excited, we go, oh God, this is a cool technology, let's see what's going on. And then we say, okay, Let's start with the needs, because everywhere I see in this room, in another's room, a lot of people are trying to make solution in search of a problem. That's not the way you should build things. First, find a problem first, and then build a solution. That's the other way around. Otherwise, it's gonna be so difficult. The best thing in marketing is not like to try to create something and try to sell it. The best rule in marketing, 25 years of experience, do something that people want. And they will just buy it. You don't have even to market because the essence of marketing is not doing marketing. It's just like doing people want and give it to them. That's it. They will buy it. They want it. It's so easy. Please do it. Please. So let's start with the needs. I'm gonna be super fast. Okay. And and that's it. So <laughs> fast means that it's over. So. Thank you.